Now we're live. One second. Oh. Live. Green light. It's lit. Lit. It's lit. I'm Andy. Hello. I'm Lee. This is Two Controls, One Sofa, and we're back again. You must be getting fed up now. Um, I'm Andy. Obviously, go... <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leonardo. Oh, I'm not. I'm not going through all that again. Um, going well. We're going through the news again. Yep, Don't same news as last week again. <laughs> yep, exactly the same. I can't even remember it. Um, so it's been TGS this week. Um, a lot has, of stuff has come out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I, for such a big event, I've not really, um, I've not really seen much. Oh, there's been loads. Well, it's there's been, been like loads. There's been um, the different coloured controllers that you can buy now for the PS4. Been a bit of a I price cut for the PS4. I've seen that. Uh, the uh, Japanese. This is useless information to people are aware but the Japanese released it for Dark Souls 3 no that is not use, useless that is, is uh, actually on our brand new YouTube channel two controllers one sofa news um, you can check that out we're putting up the latest news on there so you can have a quick listen it's on there <laughs> not useless <laughs> it's completely useful I probably should have gone through that content first I will quickly run through what is on there. Uh, I posted, because we spoke about it in great length, I posted a little happy birthday message to the Super Mario Brothers on the 13th of September, which was actually their 30th birthday. Oh, was it their birthday? Yeah, that was that. We ne- oh, I forgot we never mentioned it. Um, uh, obviously, Dark Souls 3 released it, announced for Japan after that was on. Uh, a quick thing about Minecraft. I know there's massive uh, fan base for that. Um, have you heard about that? Uh, no. Uh, Telltale Games have got together with whoever ma- creates Minecraft. I can't remember. Uh, it's Mohang. And Mohang? Mohang or Mojang? Mojang. It's Mojang, isn't it? Oh, Mojang right. rings a bell. Uh, anyway, uh, they've created a story... They're creating a story mode. Five episodes. Not quite. There's no details on how it's going to work, but they're making five story mode episodes for Minecraft. Mm, is he a huge fan of the Telltale game series? Is I, yeah. I don't think I'll play the Minecraft one at all. Well, uh, the first one's being released on the 13th of October for Xbox One. PS4, PC, That's and soon. last-gen consoles. Um, mobile, get it on the 15th of October. Uh, you can also buy a physical copy on the 27th of October, which will give you access to the next four episodes when they're released. So that's a quick breakdown of that. Nice. Uh, and also... Go on. Uh, it's all right. That microphone lag again, it's going to kill us. Uh, I- I was going to say, I would rather than be concentrating on finishing Game of Thrones yes. episode 6. I'm sure they are. Which has just disappeared up their own arses. <laughs> Have they not got a date for that? I thought there was a date set for it or something. I don't think so. Not that I've seen. Unless it's got swallowed up in all oh, the right. TGS news. Uh, not recently. I thought they'd said like this date sometime that time, around that time there's going to be oh, like a, r- a, like a rough, rough it. Yeah, yeah, rough, hmm. not an exact one. I might be wrong. Probably am. Normally am. Anyway, uh, World of Tanks is coming to the PS4. Yes, I heard this. Massive news. I gave a thumbs up to the monitor when I read it. I, thought, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why s- the P- PS4 have got it last. Because obviously Xbox got it earlier this year, didn't they? Uh, yeah, it was a. I think Microsoft just paid them. Yeah. One of those exclusive things. Like, Microsoft are going to get. Well, the Xbox One will get the new Tomb Raider game. 
um, like nearly a year ahead of the PS4 version. Yeah, it's, well, I suppose it's not crazy, but they do seem to be battling each other. In tanks. Seriously. Mm. In tanks, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be fun. If, yeah, uh, I shall be trying it's that free out. To pl- it, it's free to play as well, obviously. It is, it's a free uh, well, I to suppose play. It's, it's not obvious, but we know that it's free to play. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, if no one knows about it, it's 30 people of 30 tanks. Uh, I think there's 15, I mentioned it during the thing, there's, there's 15 different classes and 6 different countries. Nice. That it can be. So, yeah. That's that, World of Tanks. That's all that was on the uh, other YouTube channel, Two Controls, One Sofa News. Mm-hmm. And put any f- nothing else has been on there yet. Right. Um, so back onto other news. What, what have you got? What have you got? Come on. What have I got? Lead us off. Oh, uh, what have you right, got? Right. Threw me right under the buzz. Uh, Witcher 3 cost 80 million something to make. <laughs> 80 million something. I wrote down this note thought. and I don't know whether it was dollars, euros, crown well, or whatever didn't it is. We we didn't we mention something about Witcher the other week, how much they made, and it was in Polish notes. They made a lot of, uh, yeah, profit. Uh, I, I think this is dollars, you know. $80 million. It normally is dollars. You, uh, That's you, a lot. You're quenching your thirst then. I quenched my thirst yeah, <laughs> in my, uh, my, my customised podcast cup. <laughs> um. Yeah, so they've um uh, yeah, so Witcher Three cost eighty million, let's just say dollars to make, which is yeah. an incredible amount of money to spend on it. Well, it's an amazing game. Yeah, it is. Absolutely amazing game. Um so well done well, it's not finished yet. Once all the DLC starts coming out, they'll start raking even more money. Yeah. When how oh, we announced that the other week and I can't remember that. Well the the, the DLC business. Yeah. Yeah. L- listen to last week's podcast. Oh, this is podcast number seven, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We forgot to mention that. Yeah. And it is actually a Thursday the 17th for a change. <laughs> <laughs> it's always um, Thursday. What was I going to make? Always Thursday. Anyway, it's Wednesday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, another thing I have seen this week, uh, I think it's quite a big game, Five Nights at Freddy's. Yep. Is it a big game? There yeah. is, isn't it? Mm, yeah. It's, it's out yeah. there. It's, well, anyway, they're bringing out an RPG for it. RPG? Rocket Propelled Grenade? Quite, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. Yeah. They, I don't really like it, the but, game anyway. It's gonna, it, but it's a role-playing game uh, called Five Nights at Freddy's World. That's a bit of a weird name. Yeah. Um, let's play as create RPG-style parties using what creator Scott Cawthon refers to as adventure. Um, there's not an awful lot of detail on it. Mm. Uh, it just says a free demo will be available in the near future. Nice. Which is useful. Which is useful. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be available so, yeah, in the past. <laughs> that is a good point. That would be epic. <laughs> just, everyone just missed You've it. You've all missed it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I thought it... I'd mention that because you don't think this bloody lag. Uh, it's, yeah, we'll have to sort something one day. Uh, I'm going to say I don't think we would have missed anything, even if it had already come out. No. That was my party shot. So you're, shot. you're saying it's not worth it? I don't. I doubt it. Compared to some of the other games coming out, don't waste my time. <laughs> Five Nights I'll at Fre- I forgot what it's called already. Five Nights at Freddy's World. Five Nights at Freddy's uh, World. Five Nights at Freddy's World. Damn. Uh, yeah. Nice. Some more. I don't think this. Some more TGS news. Bloodborne. Go- Bloodborne. DLC. The old hunters have mm. been announced. I thought it had already been announced anyway, but um, 24th of November uh, for $20 or £11.99. Nice. Quite, 
Oh, well, it's not that expensive, really, is it? But I suppose it depends what's in the content. Speaking of which... Uh, speaking of which, have you got that news? I don't, I, know. I don't, don't have that news. Um, nope, I have no oh. idea what's in the... I presume new bosses, a new area, a new costume, the end. Which featured a bow, arrow, flaming buzzsaw, a curved blade weapon, modified bosses from the main game, and other new features. Oh, it's so not even new bosses. Like, oh, this is the boss, but it's, it's more difficult now. Yeah. Great. Keep my £11.90 in my pocket. Well, you, you no longer have the game anymore, so... You've just announced to the world... That I no longer own. That you broke it. Uh, yeah. In anger. No, that I was I was done with it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Moving we'll on. Move away from the death of Bloodborne. On to the death of the Nintendo CEO. Uh, 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 Kichi Kumiwaga. That's right. I was just going to mention that this. I think this has already been mentioned in the other YouTube news channel. It wasn't. YouTube.com slash Sky News. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. All right. After all that the other night. Jesus. I couldn't. I couldn't. I tried. It was like. Bleh, 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 bleh. All right. But yeah. Oh. Go on, announce it. Announce it. Uh, no one's heard. Nintendo exclusive has... announcement. Yeah, it's exclusive. Um, I've had a picture of this Chinese guy on the monitor now for about 30 minutes. Just watching me. <laughs> 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 Waiting for a segue. When you said something about somebody dying, I was like, speak <laughs> of dying. So yeah, since the death of the um, Nintendo block, I forgot his name now, something about... What we're called Satiri Sat- Water. Um, <laughs> Nintendo have announced a new CEO, and his name is Tatsumi Kimishima. Um, how the fu- how do you do that? Seriously, well, I'm not actually English, I was born in another country, English <laughs> is not my first language. But Kimishima was previously working at the Pokemon Company and came from a purely business background. Uh, you might not have been able to tell already, but I'm reading this from an article. Not by no, no, we can't memory. tell. Um, no, he, we thought it was memory. I'll try to make it more natural. Uh, he also worked at Nintendo of America from 2002 to 2006, uh, and eventually became the managing director of Nintendo in April 2013. It sounded like you were reading from a script then. Did it? Oh, fail. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Iw- Iwata died a couple months ago, sadly, due to cancer, uh, and he has been present on Nintendo since 2000. In fact, Good he, stint, he Good made massive changes to the games industry. So, uh, so yeah. Wii? Uh, yeah, the Nintendo DS and the Wii. He so invented a Wii? He invented a Wii, that's right. Let's, let's <laughs> make fun of the dead guy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah. That alone. Mm. So, yeah, good luck to... Um, Tatsumi Kimijima. Uh, uh, Tatsumi Kimijima. Kimijima, that's it. Nailed it. Got it in one. Nailed it. I couldn't do it there all the other night. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Nintendo should now be back on track with the new console. What is the new console? Ooh. What is it? Yeah. It's games console. I know that. Tumbleweed. What's it called? Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't think they have an official name yet. I, I remember the... All oh, right. Boom, because I would like to uh, tell you what it is. Uh, if I say new Nintendo console. I've got I've got a... Uh, bursting with joy to announce something. I'll wait till you finish your segment. Oh, no, thank you very much. Uh, the Nintendo NX... So I expect that to be announced at E3 next next year. And that is the end of that. Go on, what are you bursting with? Another one. Another little project. Yep. Hint, hint. That is uh, named something. Hint, project. hint. Um, project Gotham Racing was a great racing <laughs> game for the original <laughs> Xbox. What happened to that? Did it... 
the uh, great the, Forza, and people was like, well, what what the hell was Project Gotham Racing? Oh, no, what was it now? I can't remember who made the PGR games, but then they, they went on to make a different racing series. Oh, what was it called? Or was it Blair? Uh, Blur? Was it Blur or something? Oh, like? right, yeah. That, that was rubbish, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, PGR brilliant. was amazing. Good move. The, ku- the kudos move. system and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So anyway. What? Project... Onto the real, the real project, Project Morpheus. What? No? The Matrix. I was impressed by that. No. Do you know what I was? Has everyone forgot? I, I was thinking of like Project Cars. No. Project Morpheus project has Morpheus. been renamed or rebranded, as they're putting it. As, yeah. The- uh, something. Um, the um, yeah the, the the project name was just Project Morpheus, weren't it? So the the official yeah. name of the um, the VR headset has been announced. Uh, and what is it? The na- What is the name of the VR headset? Oh, I don't know. It's something creative and inno- innovative. This billion um, dollar company. Is it called PlayStation something? It's PlayStation VR. Oh wow, that is groundbreaking! I don't know. I don't know how they come up with it. That is brilliant. But yeah, PlayStation VR. Now, joking aside, I've, I keep hearing ama- I've said it on a few podcasts ago. But I keep hearing amazing things about this VR, these VR headsets. There's like fifty other damn things, but they're all sounding amazing. Yeah, I cannot well, wait to see one. Well, yeah, it's like the next generation of gaming, really. The next wave. We have a game playing. But yeah, Project Morpheus yeah. has got, now got a name, so we'll stop But they've it. also said, I th- it's it's probably over now and people have already played it, but they, uh, they released a little thing when they renamed it or rebranded it as people were putting it for some reason. Mm-hmm. They said there was going to be a certain few games playable in Tokyo. Okay. Um, one was Final Fantasy Online 14. One was Dynasty Warriors 7 VR. And the others were like something called Kitchen. Hmm. Um, the hell was the rest of it? Kitchen. I can't remember the rest of it. But there, there were one called Riggs, I think. Oh. Um, but there, there was nothing that I recognised other right. than obviously the, the first couple. Mm. So that would have been fun if you're in Tokyo and you got a chance to have a go at it. Yeah. But yeah, thought I'd mention that. Yeah, no, it was worth mentioning. Now you just briefly mentioned Final Fantasy. Then I have. Speaking of Final We're Fantasy, doing well, I think. And these segues Final are brilliant. From subject. Apart from the last one, it was a bit more of it. But yeah, speaking of Final Fantasy, <laughs> um, Final Fantasy Five. So for all you Final Fantasy nerds out there that like old FF games Final Fantasy 5 is coming to Steam um, the PC version is a port of the iOS and Android version that was originally released for mobile in 2013 what? so a two year old mobile game is coming to Steam as a PC game so you're finally able to play FF5 <laughs> on, your, on your personal computer uh, it'll be $16 I've- Upon its launch on September 24th. I have never been a fan of Final Fantasy. You've got to be like a real Japanese RPG nerd. nerd. Yeah. <gasps> oh, how dare you. Yeah. Uh, but you've got, to be, you've got to be really into the I, games. I don't mind some RPGs, but that... I, well, I, I could never get into... I had a... I had a friend that was like he played them all and he was really into it, but it's just not something that interested me. I'm also in a similar position where I have a mate that is a massive fan of Final Fantasy, but I never liked the idea of it being like a turn based, like oh you have like 18 hit points left and you can select which yeah. spell to cast next, and then so I didn't like any of that rubbish and I didn't like the stories in it, which were just weird. Japanese rubbish. Yeah, well, to, for me anyway. I don't know, but I'll. Um, but yeah, some people out there like that. Now they're like, "Oh, Final Fantasy V, yeah, my favourite one." So yeah, that my was twenty fourth September, and it's currently got a ten percent discount. But 
you can also buy it. Jesus. Um, I nearly forgot about this, and I think you have, but you can also buy it eventually from that website, that discount thing. Game Mafia. Uh, G2A.com. G2A.com. In the description. That's it. G2A.com is in the description. So buy all your PC games from there. Thank you very much. Yeah, pretty much anything we've mentioned already. If it's playable on PC, you can buy it from there. Even the... uh, Oh, no, you won't be able to buy Bloodborne DLC because it is exclusive to PlayStation 4 or PlayStation. Hmm. Now, G2A... Don't try buying that DLC from there. No, 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 no. But G2A, go on, continue. Uh, G2A is a online website where you can buy uh, cheap PC games. Speaking of online, Metal Gear Online. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was like chipping the ball up to yourself. <laughs> it was so obvious. <laughs> it worked though, damn it. I, d- I want to interrupt you there. I go, go for back it. to the G2A. Um, Feel free. You... You said G2A is where you can buy cheap online games, or PC games, um, just to expand a bit more on that so it doesn't sound too cheap. Um, It's basically where people sell their Steam cards or Steam gifts to other people. It's a bit like eBay, a little bit, I suppose. So, I just didn't want people thinking it was cheap and nasty when you said cheap. Thank you. Yeah, but speaking of online... Speaking of online... <laughs> <laughs> I could have swore I said cheaper PC games, but fair enough. Um, Metal Gear Online... Wait, wait, let me rewind. <laughs> you can buy cheaper PC <laughs> games from G2A.com. Speaking of online oh, games... You're right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so for owners of Metal Gear 5... Um, as long as you have PS Plus, you will get Metal Gear Online on October 6th. Um, and it is the only competitive multiplayer game that actively rewards players for not killing each other. Say what? Really? really? Wow. Say really? Can you expand on that? Not, really? not particularly. There are... There's an, an in-depth article, a TGS article over on IGN for people that want to read up on it, but I was reading the uh, just the main thing that doesn't really include much, apart from the date, and that's it, that one quote. So yeah, the online right. version of that game is out soon. Um, not that I'll have time um, to play, because I'll still be playing single play. Just to expand on that if that's the right word you said Deja ps4 vu, yeah? yep um you said it, it's available free or it, if you've already got the game on ps4 i'm presuming that's for everything else as well not just ps4 well the article i read was ps4 um bear with me because i do not want to give out incorrect information oh no information so let's um, let's string this out a bit string it out on the fly on the fly Uh, while we hectically search for what we're looking for got it got it got it go for it go for it oh my god this article is extremely small yep Uh, no I've not got it (laughs) It, all I've got will launch on the 6th of October. Uh, will be available to download for free to anyone who owns Metal Gear Solid. So that I think that puts a stop to the PS4 exclusive thing. Oh, yeah. Anyone who owns it gets it. So that's that done. Um, but I've not got any information on the uh, details of online. But I'm intrigued about um, being rewarded for not killing people. Yeah, it's going to be more stealthy, sleeper holds, all that kind of stuff. So what would you then do, Fulton them off? I don't think so. Well, because I don't know what the game modes are like, I'm not too sure what what you'll do, but I'll... Uh, can't say I'm not interested in playing the online version of it, to be honest with you, but I'll, uh, I'll give it a try so I can report back. I'm... 
Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Jesus. Speaking of reporting back. Ooh. Ooh. No, I failed. I don't know what that's going to lead on to. Oh, uh, reporting. FIFA 16 news. Excitement. Uh, I'm excited. Yes. Um, this little bit of news isn't that exciting. Um, apparently, they've, they've FIFA. I didn't get this, but FIFA 16 have lost 13 players um, due to some NCAA rule, which is um, an American uh, thing. I think it's National College Association or something like that. Um, but apparently, they they can't use so many pl- uh, players. Wow! Not that it's. No one really gives a crap, but... Losing players, well, that is uncharted territory. Ooh, God. Speaking of uncharted... (laughs) 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 Uh, How'd you finish with the FIFA 16? I hadn't, no, but you've you've gone, so go with it. (laughs) Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta gets a launch date. So the multiplayer beta will run December 4th to the 13th of December. Um, You will gain access to the beta if you purchase the Nathan Drake collection, which you should purchase because it will be awesome. But you're not purchasing it. Because, well... Hmm. It's a tough one because (laughs) I've, I've completed one and two. Didn't get a chance to finish three. So do I buy them so, all again just to play three? That's the thing. Mm, are they the... Uh, no. I reckon you should buy it. I've thought about it. Because it's amazing. They're not long it. games. They're like 10 to 12 hour games. So Deeply. You, you don't need to worry about having time to play them. You'll get one done in a week. Easy peasy. If... um. If people watched our videos, like, a lot... Yep. Um, enough so I didn't have to work, I would buy it. But seeming I have to have a full-time job, I'm still going to play what I've got now. Including the upcoming FIFA, which I'm going to play this shit out of. Well, this got a bit Speaking depressing. of FIFA... Speaking of shit, or oh, FIFA... <laughs> <laughs> um, they've said <laughs> um, I've fucking lost myself now uh, speaking of fucking right, anyone <laughs> <laughs> um, the sex scene on the Witcher 3 nailed it <laughs> no seriously go FIFA for it 16. Uh, if you're an EA access member uh, we've mentioned this a couple of times over the last couple of podcasts. We have. How um, I think PS4 have fucked up by not allowing this for some odd reason. But anyway, um, if you are an EA Access member on Xbox One, uh, you can play FIFA a week before. So a week now. before. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I've got to be wrong. Oh. Okay. Where to play the. F- the game for full t- oh you can play it for 10 hours 10 hours once you've hit 10 hours the game's locked down until release oh that sucks. that's a lot i don't know 10 hours sucks it's teasing you you just in get a week just as you get into it you're like oh i'm loving this and then all of a sudden but you're locked <laughs> halfway through a match yeah well you'll have to continue this next week exactly yeah yeah well i thought i'd mention that uh, well, it, it's, it unlocks on it because obviously I've bought it on the on the on the store, so there's like a countdown. But I'm sure it, it's available to be played next Thursday. Uh, it's out on the twenty fourth, sure. isn't it? Which the is ne- which next, is next Friday, isn't it? Well, the Friday twenty fourth. No, next Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. I yeah. don't know why it's out on a Thursday, but it's a bit of a strange one. But yeah, I should be able to be playing it next next Thursday. Uh, anyway, all the achievements and trophies have been released for FIFA 16, so let's go through them. 
Oh, um, God. <laughs> can't touch this. Da, 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 da. Play <laughs> without um, using no touch dribbling. Big one. Uh, skip to the end. Never quit. Play consecutive matches and seasons. Brilliant. There you go. That's all uh, 3,000 achievements mentioned. Say what? <laughs> No, I think we'll move on from FIFA now. Have you got any way for teeing it up for something else? Always. But not this time. Uh, act, I think I've mis- misplaced the notes. There is only one other thing I can think of mentioning. Star Wars! What? Speaking of Star Wars, <laughs> there is a... Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Oh, this is a, this was a question we had a couple of weeks ago. If you remember. I remember. But I think we exclusively released the, the news last week. We did. I remember, right? Mm. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the beta for Star Wars Battlefront will be available to everyone. Everyone. So, yeah, that'll be fun. When's that out? <laughs> Jesus, brain hemorrhage. It doesn't have a date. All right. <laughs> what? There's no date. What a failed fucking article. Bloody hell. Blood EL. What good is that? <laughs> Well, the full game is out November 17th, so it's between now and then the beta will be out. Which I pre-ordered. You have. I shall in, also be... Oh, oh, I forgot to ask. You're not getting it for Oh, P- no, I haven't pre-ordered it. Oh, oh. No, sorry, no, I haven't. I'm getting it for PC. I'm going to say, you're not, you're not getting it for PC. All right. Yeah, I forgot. I haven't pre-ordered it. I got it mixed up with Halo. Mm. I pre-ordered Halo. Nice. Nice. Well, that's the news. Done. I'm still good wait, week of news. I'm still flying. I'm still flying it. Flying what? Still on the fly. I'm still on the fly. But I, th- I think I'm going to crash land. <laughs> I've crashed. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no! Flying it. I flew it. I flew it. Uh, available PC, PS4, Xbox One. Uh, early October. The beta. Nice. I assume a couple of weeks. My birthday. My birthday. Your birthday as well. Yeah. That's my gift to you. Yeah, because don't forget you're buying me Don't Starve next year. I, that's, I've already got next year's birthday presents sorted out. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm glad I remembered. Mm. Um, and that's the news. That's the news. So, Is that it? That, we, no, no. What, what have, you, um, have you been playing anything this week? I've been playing lots, like everything. Everything. F1. Brilliant. F1. Still going with F1. Um, still going. I will go to the end. I don't think I've ever completed a full season. Oh, um, keep going with you, it. M- you may want to skip this week's, as it the it is the British, and you don't want to see what happens to Genton Button in Britain. Ooh. So just just wait till Tuesday next week because uh, it is fucking epic. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, fucking epic. Bleep, bleep, bleeping epic. <laughs> ah, <fuck>. Um. <laughs> yeah. So watch next Tuesday because it's brilliant. I may get a little bit excited as well. Oh, I shall. Uh, I shall watch it. Have you been playing anything else? Bit of Madden. Uh, Madden. Lots of Madden. Good. Uh, I put about. Five videos up nice. this week. Um, did a, a little uh, in uh, explanation on a new feature, uh, which is scouting. You'll know nothing about. Um, so that's on the channel, uh, and I'm on week three of the season. So check that out. And obviously, last week's podcast is on our YouTube channel. Uh, and we've also hit 1,000 minutes watched, which is a hell of a milestone. <laughs> 
for a crappy little channel like us. Whoop, sorry. Uh, brilliant channel like us. It's a brilliant, brilliant channel. We're actually up to 1,041 at this current moment. Nice. Which is... So, yeah, make us get to 50,000 in <laughs> this week. So you can... That is your challenge, not you personally. I meant every, the listeners. The listeners... I want another 49,000 minutes watched. I would say I'm too busy watching like Mark Kaplar and PewDiePie and all that lot. Shh. All those other amazing YouTube channels. Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Mark Kaplar. Okay, bye. Wait, what's the hell? Is that what we had to do there? <laughs> um, I've been playing uh, Metal Gear. The, 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 like solid, the solids of the Metal Gear. The solids. There's um, something I wanted to ask about this. Ask where? Question of the week. I, f- I forgot. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. The one question we were going to have. Oh, God, what was it? Uh, I can't remember. Well, I've been um, cracking on with it. It's an amazing game. I won't say anything story-wise because it'd be an epic spoiler. But yeah, it's an amazing game. Looks fantastic. Runs well. Could even be the was, best stealth game ever made. You wouldn't rate it as Game of the Year, would you? I, I, I'm inching towards Witcher 3 as Game of the Year, but I, I'm quite confident in saying that Metal Gear is the best stealth game ever. So what other stealth games are there that stand out? Metal Gear 1. Metal Gear 2. Yeah, but... Metal Gear 3. Okay, now. Metal Gear 4. <laughs> Metal Gear Snake With Eater. New Phantom Pain Tactical Illusion. What is it? That's tactical. it. No, illusion. Illusions. No, it's not. I can't remember the disc isn't the case isn't around tactical espionage. What espionage? That's it. <laughs> I'd rather just be that. Um, yeah. That. So when I say stealth, I mean any any games that involve stealth. This has got the best stealth mechanics or whatever you want to call it ever. Uh, so it, I'd put it as like a close, a close second as game of the like. I just have to game of the year, Witcher. Yeah. Well, that's that's what I think. That's what I wanted to mention. You mentioned something the other day that you were going on about one of the outposts you were taking out, and you were saying like some of the stealth tactics you had to use. Do you remember? You probably don't. I know. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I just I thought it might be, but we've probably not got enough time to explain that. What you mean the uh, so the shitting tape? Yes. Uh, well, it one doesn't of the, matter. No, it's alright, I'm building myself up to it. So one of the good things about Metal Gear is you can do things that you didn't think were possible. It, or you could, <laughs> you could do things that the game does not teach you. There's no tutorial for it or anything like that. You just stumble across it. Um, so 90% of the people playing the game will not realise little things that you can do. For example... When you are searching around the world, you can find little um, tapes uh, that contain music and other audio uh, effects. Um, And you also carry around with you a little device called an iDroid, which is used as your your main viewing mode, like the, the main way to view maps and stuff like that, and other intel. But one of the upgrades for your iDroid is a speaker. Um, yeah, I've not lost you, have I? No, no, I'm still here. No worries. I'm just listening. It's all right. No, it's okay. Uh, so one of the main upgrades, or one of the upgrades for it is a speaker. So once you've got that speaker on it, you can then listen to tapes or play tapes through it through the speaker. Now, if you're going through an outpost and you're backed into a corner, you can't get out from other guards that have actively searching for it. You can hide in toilet cubicles. Now, sometimes if you hide in there on your own, they might just walk past but other more curious cards might come towards it and try and... But they might open it and spot you. But if you play it, you can find a tape of someone having a shit. <laughs> so it's got all the... 
all those sorts of noises. Those glorious ones here in the morning. So um, you can play that through Why the iPad. in the morning? I don't know. Or at I night. like mine mid-afternoon. Oh, mid-afternoon, it, it flies out of me. It's in the morning where it's all like, there's effort <laughs> they've got to put in. Um, I'm old. Um, so, <laughs> so, what were we trying to say? What about my bowel movements? Uh, you're all about shitting. In a, That's it, in yeah. So, if you let the guards walking towards the cubicle, you can start playing this tape via your iDroid and the upgraded speaker, and he's going to be like, oh, bloody hell, well, I don't want to be going in there, do I? And he'll move along. So, just little things like that that stand out that make you think, my God. My God. You can hide yeah. in a toilet cubicle. So, yeah, look, uh, I can't think of any other examples, really, but you, you'd be in a situation and you think, Right, I want to do this, but you can do it. The game doesn't restrict you. Yeah. But you you can also find like little music tapes, can't you, which you can play as you're wandering around, I think. Yes, and you the the helicopter that you have that you can call in for well for various things, um, but when it's like picking you up or if you wants to if you want it to drop off ammo and other stuff. You can also have it come in uh, as air support so it can rain down like hellfire on uh, on the enemies. But you can have it playing uh, music, like 80s hits, Total Eclipse of the Heart, that kind of stuff. So it sounds pretty damn what, epic the... when it's flying in. So that's blasting out. So everyone That's blasting out. It. Yeah, everyone can hear it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like, dun, 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 dun. That's it. That's it. Meatloaf and all that other malarkey. Yeah. Like a bat out of hell, it'll be gone when the, the morning, morning comes. comes when I shoot you. Yeah, so it does all that. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Uh, so, I, yeah, but some people might think, oh, God, that's so gay. Well, I'm, I'm not going to hide in a toilet. I don't be all stealth. I want to shoot them. But that's a good thing. You can. You can just not play it stealth. You can kill everyone. Is that not rather difficult, though? No, Is no, that, that's, that's, they want you to be able to play how you want to play it. So if you want to kit your guy out with silenced weapons that are suppressed, with uh, tranquilizer darts, you can do. Or if you want to go full-on uh, assault rifle, grenades, you can do that. Right, I thought it was, um, like, stealth heavy. No, no, no. It can't. That's the. Be- I think that's the best way to play the game because if you want to, how can I put it? Say you went, you went to attack an outpost head on, and there's currently eight guards there. Well, as soon as you start attacking, they're going to radio in their next outpost and call in more. They're going to call in reinforcements. Yeah. If you can stealthily take them out, you're going to be taking out guards. Or you're going to be taking less of them out. Plus, you can fulton them back to your mother base. You can you can make use of these guards. Right. So it depends how you want to play the game, really. So that's what I've been up to this week. Right. That's and it's also revealed a little bit. Oh yeah, to me because I didn't realise. I thought it was quite like forceful on the stealth, but no, no, you don't have to. I, I don't want people being put off by like, oh, I hate stealth games because I hate stealth games. I don't be like sneaking around on me on my front, like oh, gonna make it, and then you die. It, it's it's fun. It's rewarding when you've when you've spent half an hour scouting out a base marking all the people and all that kind of stuff planning your routine and all that kind of stuff and then you it comes up it gets to that point where you've took them all out you fault on them and it comes up outpost receive or whatever you've, you've captured you captured that's it um I like stealth games but not when they're dragged out like it takes an hour to stealth it way through like one outpost or something like that yeah, like three hours. Well, I think some of the I stuff I've told you, I, I, not that I've always exaggerated, but the, it, like what? Oh, how can I put it? The, there might be one little area where it might be a little tent thing with a couple of boxes on with metal that you can you can grab, um, and there might be three guards, so you can literally spend five minutes doing it and take them out. Or the next level up, there might be three or four buildings with five guards, or you might have a massive compound with forty guards. Yeah. So it all—it's not—it's not completely and utterly stealthy. It's just 
It's just all I've been telling you. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. I want to continuing to want to buy that. But <laughs> t- time is of the essence. Yeah. Um. Check out Two Controls One Soul, our YouTube channel. We haven't mentioned that much. Check out Two Controls One Soul for news. Twitter. Um. Check out this podcast. Although you must have checked out the podcast because you're already listening to it. Twitter. Um. What else is it? Twitter. Go to G2A.com to buy some news. To buy some news. <laughs> to buy news. <laughs> <laughs> Not to buy games. And um, someone's Twittering. I can hear Twitter. Once, uh, uh, go to our Twitter account, OneSofa, at OneSofa, uh, and send us some questions. Questions. Please send questions, because it would make it more interesting <laughs> if we could answer questions than reading out news articles that you've probably already read. Yeah. Yeah, and Andy has uh, he's, he's managed to hold himself off from asking whether there's any questions. Are there any questions this week? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, please send your questions in. Pretty much, it doesn't matter if they're stupid or not. We just want questions. Um, or anything. I mean, I don't know. What else could they send in rather than questions? Statements? Answers. Answers, yes, send answers in. We're clueless, so you can answer, you can help us. Yeah. Um, or if there's a topic, send topics in. Anything. Yeah. Or a shout out, even a shout out will do. Just something. Just something. Well, thanks for listening. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye.